Hello! Welcome to this TTK tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install TTK under Linux. In particular, I will assume that your Linux distribution is Ubuntu Linux, version 16.10, which is the latest version at the time I'm tuning this video. So here, as I'm running a different Linux distribution, I'll show you how to proceed within a uh, virtual machine where I have a fresh install of Ubuntu 16.10. So first, let's go to the TTK website, like I did here, and then we'll go to the uh, download page, and we will download the latest version of TTK here, and we'll save it to disk. Okay, next, we'll go to the uh, installation page, where you will find uh, detailed instructions on how to install TTK under uh, Ubuntu Linux 16.10. So since TTK uses PowerView as its main uh, user interface, we'll need to install PowerView first. And in particular, we'll have to do it from source. So we'll go to the PowerView uh, download page, and we'll uh, download the latest stable version of PowerView from source. And uh, this is the version 5.2 at the time this video is shot. And we'll select uh, source files, and there we go, download. And we'll save to disk here. All right. In the meantime, we can continue uh, the installation instructions. And the first thing we're going to do is to install uh, the third-party dependencies that will um, enable us to compile uh, PowerView and TTK. So for this, we'll need CMake we'll need uh, VTK, and we'll need uh, Qt. So for this, we'll uh, open a terminal here, and we'll enter the command that is uh, here. sudo get install cmake qt gui dev qt4 dev tools. And there we go. Enter the password. So here, installing those components will trigger the installation of all their dependencies. And here we press enter to continue, and this will take uh, quite some time. Okay, so now the installation of the third-party components is finished. So we'll move on to the next section of the installation instructions, to section 3. And here we'll uh, prepare the sources. So we'll create a working directory here, uh, code this, and we'll move uh, the tarballs that we downloaded to this directory with this command. This, we'll do the same uh, for TTK. There we go. Then we'll go uh, to this directory like this. And here, we will decompress uh, those tarballs that we downloaded with the following command. And do the same for TTK. And at this point, we can remove uh, the tarballs that we downloaded, like this. Right. Now we will move on to the next section, to uh, step 4. And here, we will patch the PowerView source tree. So this is optional, but we recommend to do it. So to do this, we go to this directory here that contains the patch set, and we apply the patch by calling this patch script and providing the path to uh, the part of the source tree, like this. All right, this is finished patching, so we can move on to uh, the section 5 here. And for this, in section 5, we'll configure, build, and install PowerView. So we will go to this directory, where the sources of PowerView are located. We will create a build directory, and we will go in there. And we will call cmake UI to configure uh, PowerView's build. Enter. And here you have the configuration windows window that opens. We'll click on the configure button. Finish. Okay, so the configure step of PowerView finished. 
So now we will uh, change a few variables of this configuration to make sure the power view is built uh, correctly for TTK. So first we'll set uh, the uh, build type to the release mode. And then we'll make sure that Python is enabled by checking this box. And uh, importantly, we'll make sure that the uh, power view dev files are installed. This is important. Uh, we'll make sure that the uh, version of Qt that is used is the version 4. We'll make sure that the rendering backend is OpenGL2. And optionally, you may want to uh, select um, OpenMP here as the SMP implementation. Once this is done, you can click on the Generate button. Alright, so now the Generate phase is done. You can see this because you have this message here, Generating Done. So at this point, you can close the configuration window here and move on to the next step, where we'll build the actual sources of PowerView. And for this, we'll type the command make dash j and here we will provide the number of physical cores to make sure that the build is running parallel to go faster and here I have 12 physical cores on this machine so I will put dash j 12 and I hit the uh, key hunter enter and this will take a uh, very long time Alright, so now PowerView's build is finished, so we'll go ahead and install uh, this build PowerView onto the system. And for this, we'll enter uh, this command line. So you do make install and a password. Okay, so now PowerView is installed from source. And we can move on to the next uh, stage, uh, which is actually the installation of TTK. So we will move uh, to the directory where uh, the TTK sources uh, are located. We'll create a uh, build directory. We'll go there and we'll call CMET GUI to uh, configure TTK's build. So here we'll click on the configure button. Finish. And here, for um, Linux users, uh, if you applied all the steps that I uh, described so far, you can just click on the button Generate, and this should work. Here. So the Generate phase is done. You can see this here with the message Generating Done. So you can go ahead and close the configuration window. And you can start TTK's build by typing the comment make dash j and here 12 because I still have 12 physical cores in my machine and I hit enter and here this will take a long time too okay so now TTK's build is finished and we'll go ahead and install TTK on your system so for this, we'll need to enter uh, the following command. sudo make install enter. Okay. So now uh, we can list the different components that have been installed on your system. In particular, you can look at the command line programs, local bin, and here you can see all the TTK uh, command line programs that have been installed. You can do the same thing for uh, the, graph the components of TTK with a graphical user interface. And at this point, uh, you may want to check if your installation of TTK is correct. And for this, you need to type PowerView to launch uh, the TTK version of PowerView. And here, if your install uh, is correct, you should have the following startup screen uh, with uh, the TTK um, splash screen. And here you want to click on example visualizations. And here you have three uh, built-in uh, visualizations using TTK. 
So you can click on any of the three and uh, it should load into PowerView. And here, this is the case of this data set uh, with some critical points, some persistence diagram, and some persistence curve. So if everything uh, works like this, um, this means that you follow correctly all of the steps described above and you have a uh, working version of TDK installed on your system. Congratulations. And that's it for this tutorial. Thanks for watching.